What's up everybody, it's Easy. Back again for the second video in this series, The Beginner's Guide to the 3 Star Attack. Uh, first video we kind of went over the planning process, uh, went over a bunch of different details on, on how we're going to try to plan out the 3 Star Attack. There's a lot to the planning stages. Uh, part of the planning stages is also identifying all the objectives that you want to try to accomplish in the attack. This helps you really break everything down, so let's go over this as kind of a list at first. Uh, we're going to pull the clan castle troops, lure the clan castle troops away from the defenses, kill the clan castle troops and begin a funnel, uh, use a kill squad to try to kill those clan castle troops and use the kill squad in the funnel, uh, kill the heroes, especially the queen, on the way to the core of the base, attack secondary targets, and then begin the main attack with DT troops, which means defensive targeting troops. We're going to get into all this a little more. Uh, a little continuation of that is... You want to start thinking about your spell placement for the defensive targeting troops. Uh, you want you have a balance. You have this balance. It's going to go back and forth from your kill squad to your to your defensive targeting troops. We're we'll getting into that a little more. <laughs> I say that a lot. I don't know. Uh, you want to set action points. We're going to discuss what action points are. Something that a lot of people don't do. Uh, we're going to decide if we're going to try to use an archer queen. Well, if you have a queen, I know this doesn't apply to everybody, especially the new guys, but. Uh, once you get up to Town Hall 9, you'll have an Archer Queen, and you can use an Archer Queen walk. If you're gonna, are you going to use a second kill squad? Are you going to use a double walk? In other words, use like six healers to try to keep everything alive. Uh, and then what kind of cleanup troops are you going to use? How are you going to implement the cleaning up of the base to make sure we don't get that hated 99%? Uh, and that will save you on your phone as well, because too many people have chucked their phone and broke it. I don't know why. I've never done that. Okay, now there's also different objectives on a repeat attack, and a lot of this stuff is based on the clan wars, and so a lot of it is going to have to do with second attacks. Uh, we would all like to get three stars in the first attack, it doesn't happen that way, so you have to have second attacks. What do you want to do in that second attack? Well, you have to watch the replay. <laughs> Damn it, watch the replay. I, that's just something that people don't do enough of. You have to watch the replays on your base if you're going to attack. Uh, modify do you, are you gonna modify the attack or uh, do a completely new attack? We're gonna talk about that more later Identify what went wrong and can you fix it? Is this the right base for you? Can you fix what went wrong? Uh, focus on correcting one or two things instead of trying to reinvent the entire attack uh, Make them pay if they put these traps on the outside any trick bases should pay for it on the second attacks uh, Wait the first attack how effective their kill squad was and can you improve upon that with maybe adjusting the troops? And then you want to maybe ad adjust your damage, your DT troops, not damage, but your defensive targeting troops, uh, their deployment, and see if you can uh, improve upon that a little bit. So, we're going to get into the first attack. Now, a lot, I used some of the attacks from the first video in this one because we didn't really get into the attack that much. Uh, we just kind of talked through the whole attack, but now we're going to kind of break down what's going on in the attacks and why they were so important, why I chose these videos to begin with. And meanwhile, on the left-hand side of the screen, these are some of the most popular, um, these are some of your most popular clan castle troops that you're going to have to deal with coming out of the clan castle. The very first and the very lower levels, they're going to put those Valkyries in there because you have lower level troops, you have ba Barbarians, Archers, and Giants that you're attacking with, and they will wipe them all out. One Valkyrie will kill 300 Barbarians. We've, we've done it, we've seen it. The way you take care of that Valkyrie is you'll surround her with Archers and make her run after each Archer and you'll just take her out that way. Now in this replay, as I was talking through it, which I do every video, uh, one of the uh, most important aspects of this replay was... He started it off right, and he started off by bringing in two hog riders. The hog riders jumped over the base, and it ended up pulling the clan castle troops out of their clan castle. And then, then he put in one minion down in the corner, and then the clan castle troops quickly killed those two hog riders, and then went down to the corner and killed the archer, or killed the archer or minion, whatever he had down there. But what he did is he put a poison spell down to slow those troops down and start damaging them, and then he put a full dragon in, which you see that full dragon is still alive. That's not even really part of his attack. That was just for those those clan castle troops. So he used the full dragon and his archer queen to take out those archer, those clan castle troops that came out of the clan castle. And he did it way in the corner of the base. That way he wasn't in harm's way. And uh, he wouldn't have to risk the defenses shooting at him while he's trying to take out those clan castle troops. Remember guys, the clan castle troops that come out... out 
they are probably the strongest thing on the base. Uh, depending on what they have in there, if, it, if it's a smart player. Now, so all these other troops down below, these are some of the most popular clan castle troops in the game right now. Probably the most popular clan castle is going to be the baby dragons and the witch. Baby dragons have such high damage per second when they're when they're enraged. So they'll put one baby dragon in. It's the only air troop in there. It's enraged the whole time. It's doing the same amount of damage as a full dragon. And then you have the witch that's constantly spawning skeletons. And it's just a hassle for a lot of players to try to get through that. And I've seen a lot of mistakes happen. And if you don't have a plan for those clan castle troops, they will take you out. So those are popular clan castle troops. And then once you move on a little more, uh, you'll see the golem in the clan castle a lot. Because the golem will single-handedly take out a Valkyrie raid. Uh... We won't get into that too much, but just because of the the AI on the Valkyries, they kill the Golem. The Golem explodes. It does death damage. It takes out the Valkyries, and then the the, the Lava Hound, similar to the to the Golem, it splits up. It does death damage and splits into a whole bunch of Lava Pups. So um, those are all popular and some of the higher levels. Hopefully, you read some of the stuff on the right side. I suck at this. Anyway. In this replay, there was a bunch of good things that happened in this replay as well. Now, in this replay, they pulled the clan castle troops by putting in a haste spell and two balloons. And I think that was an important thing. And, and before I get into that, I'll then pull the clan castle troops into the corner. And actually, I, it's hard to see because I cut off the screen. Damn it, I suck at this. Uh, what's actually going on behind <laughs> the writing? <laughs> I amaze myself sometimes was they dropped their clan castle and in their clan castle was a baby dragon and a witch the same thing that was in the other clan castle so they kind of battled back and forth and then they put a poison spell down which slowed down the defensive troops and then they put the archer queen down so there was this overpowering amount of troops to take out the enemy clan castle troops which were lured away from the base off in the corner so they didn't have to risk any of the defenses uh, beating up their troops while they were taking out the enemy clan castle troops then they used the heroes to wipe out that whole side of the base so as soon as you put in the actual main body of troops, which are defensive targeting troops, which are the balloons, uh, and then they ha also had tanking troops. These are all very important parts of a three-star attack. The tanking troops to keep all of the defensive aggro, all the fire off of these balloons. The balloons are very fragile. Uh, they do a high amount of damage, but they are fragile. So you'll see an, a third Lava Hound g goes in. The Lava Hounds are sitting on top of these air defenses, which do an extremely high amount of damage. Meanwhile, the balloons are going around from defense to defense, uh, dropping these bombs on them and wiping out these defenses. You use a lot of spells in these defense-only troops. Uh, if you're using the, the, the balloons, you're going to use rage spells and haste spells. And we don't have a replay of the Hog Riders, but that's a, that's the, that's the second type of three-star attack that we can... We're going to get into the, uh, the Hog Rider attack in the next video. Uh, we have a, uh, we did most of the balloon attacks in this video here. Well, both either the balloon attack or the hog rider attack, they both need spells to survive. The the balloons need the, the rage spells and the haste spells to, to quicken their pace and get them to all the defenses because they're they're slow pokes, and the defenses will just wipe them out if if um if you're not fast enough getting those balloons on top of the air defenses. Remember. The, the, the Lava Hounds may sit on top of air defenses, they're not taking them out. They don't really do that much damage, it's the balloons getting on top of those air defenses while the Lava Hound's still there, that actually takes them out. And another important part of this was saving a couple of, of, uh, of troops for the end, and didn't really need it there, had about uh, 30 or 40 seconds left over, but saved a couple minions for the end, just in case to, that you can put those... Uh, clean up troops off in the corners of on a builder's hut or on whatever building that you need a little help on you don't want your troops running towards the last defense or the last trash building while you're running out of time it's a terrible feeling <laughs> now this replay is a little different um in this particular war it was a lower level clan they didn't have clan castle troops so because of that you're not going to really bring the same exact troop composition so instead of bringing in a kill squad and pushing a kill squad into the base and taking out the clan castle troops and, and kind of seeing how far the kill squad will go, which we'll, we're going to touch up on that in just a second, um, that we, use the we use what we call the, the double walk. Uh, and there, there's an archer queen walk that has three healers on her and then a bowler walk. We've got, got bowlers in the clan castle and put three healers on them. So you have these two different really powerful troops going around the outside of the base 
And then the kill squad in this is actually a very large kill squad. It's a bunch of giants, uh, Valkyries, wizards, and they're pushing into the base at the same time. So we have a timing issue going on. We have this kill squad that's punching into the base. And the key to this attack is for the kill squad to get into the base and take out the air defenses before the outer troops go around. And uh, if, if you're watching right now, I think that air defense is on the healer and about ready to take the healer out. And that's what happens on a lot of these attacks. You'll have the healers on the outside of the base um, help, because you have your troops on the outside that are in the walk. These walks are very popular. They're part of, of I, I don't know, 80% of the three-star attacks where you'll have healers walking behind, uh, flying behind a very powerful troop like the Archer Queen or the Bowlers. And, a, and most often, they'll be going around the outside of the base, and the Archer Queen has in, an incredible range, so she'll be shooting over the walls and taking out all these defenses from the outside of the base. Meanwhile, you have your kill squad in the inside of the base taking out all this stuff on the inside. And then, as the kill squad gets on the inside, it, it takes out a third of the base, half the base, and it gets so far, and you haven't even you haven't even started your actual attack yet. Then you put in the hog riders, then you put in the balloons, and, and that's how you see a lot of these advanced players just get so far in these attacks. This is a different type of attack. Now I want I'm going to continue on with the, my thought process, and, and then we'll get into this attack here. Just just notice there is no heroes being deployed quite yet. The Archer Queen is on the other side of this base, and he's going to wait till the end of the attack to put the, the heroes in to take out that Archer Queen just before she can impact the attack. So, using the Kill Squad, this is a very important part of the game. It's a very important part of the 3 star attack. It's something that a lot of players have got away from, because just because the meta has kind of allowed us to do that. For, you, for those of you guys that don't know what the meta is, that is basically uh, the most popular attack, what's working right now. Because because there are updates and there are const the game's constantly evolving, the most popular attack, the most powerful attack, is constantly changing. Right now, one of the most popular attacks is called the slap, and it's kind of a mass attack where you put all these troops in at one time, and you don't really have this multi-phase attack. So people have gone away from using the kill squad a lot. But for those people that do use it, it's e it's a very consistent way to three star because they'll start off with a kill squad. The kill squad will penetrate the base and start taking out key targets and it will take out key targets such as the air defenses if you're going to use the balloons as the main part of your attack or you'll or the kill squad will go in and start uh, trying to run over any place where you think there might be double double giant bombs or triple giant bombs uh, and try to trip all these traps for your troops before the troops actually get into the attack and you'll see these really good players really push the kill squad far into the base they're using a third of their troops not even sometimes maybe a quarter of their troops yet the yet the kill squad will take out half the base and then they're going to put in 20 hog riders and there's only seven or eight defenses left because they were patient and they utilize that kill squad really well so there is a little bit of balance there's going to have to be some balance on, on paying attention to the kill squad and paying attention to your to your main body of troops and having a lot of patience and not deploying your main body of troops before the kill squad has done its job. And that's where we get into your action points. Um, you have to start assigning when and where you are going to deploy your main army. And you should have different parts of the base that's acceptable to you for you to deploy your army. In other words, you have a, I want my troops to get to here. I want them to take this, 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 and this out. At that point, I'll be comfortable to put my army in. Well, you also have to have a backup plan. Okay, if it doesn't go well, um, I may alter my plan. And instead of putting three balloons in on five or six different defenses, I may put in eight balloons in one spot and then put three balloons on three defenses because all of a sudden this attack's failed. I'm trying to at least get two stars. You know, there's a lot of things that can happen. And you don't ever want to just give up because uh, your troops have failed on you. You want to try to, at all times, if you're not going to three star, you want to try to get the highest percentage. We have won and lost wars by 0.01% before. <laughs> so every percentage matters. Now this attack here, I know I talked through this whole attack too, but this is actually a failed attack. And we have an, uh, another attack on the same base. And one of the things that happened was the troops hesitated. They put a jump spell in to go towards the, the infernal tower. The troops jumped in towards the infernal towers, but then for whatever reason decided to go off down to the bomb tower. It's actually what's going on on the left hand side of the, of the base right now. Uh, and they went to the bomb tower instead, and the infernal tower had enough time to burn those troops down. The whole attack failed. 
well, did not pull the clan castle troops. So instead, in this attack, the very first thing that we did is if you see that little explosion on the left side of the build of the base, we put in one barbarian, a one housing space troop, and trip that giant bomb. And that's what you do when you see giant bombs on the outside of the base. Uh, you make them pay for it. Don't let them put bombs on the outside of the base and, and hit you twice for it. So you put one troop on those things on the outside. Then we pulled the clan castle troops. And we pulled them off in the corner away from the defense and took out all the clan castle troops. Then we used the kill squad that we killed. We, we used the kill squad to kill their clan castle troops. And we used that same kill squad to clear out a, a large portion of the outer walls before we started deploying our troops. That way our main body of troops were not, were, they're not going to get beat up on the walls trying to punch through the walls. Meanwhile the defenses are just creaming them. So, and, and those are all parts of why this particular attack was a success and the first one was a failure. In addition to that, watch the replay on this one about five times. And by the time we got done watching the replay, by the fifth time, we decided we have to change our, our army composition because there's a single target Infernal Tower that if it locks onto the king or the queen or the warden, they will they will they'll die. Uh, the queen, maybe not because you can use her ability. She can disappear for a second. Okay, you can save the queen maybe. But if it locks onto the king or the warden, they're down. So we put in uh, 12 giants instead. And that really changed the entire attack. I, Guys, these giants, I don't know when all of a sudden giants became such a good troop. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe they happened the whole time. But uh, giants are a huge part of a lot of big attacks right now. Yeah, you'll, you'll see a lot of guys from China using giants. They have been the whole time. Uh, we used to think they were doing it because they were being frugal players. But that's actually because giants are a huge part of these three-star attacks. Use 12 giants. <laughs> use P.E.K.K.A., which you don't see in a lot of the meta right now. Uh, use a couple witches and then use a bunch of bowlers in this particular attack. And it's a Town Hall 11 attack. And, uh, again, made sure we saved a couple of goblins. And, and now, I wanted to make this point before the video ends. Two goblins. You wouldn't think it would change the course of an attack, but it actually did. Because we put those two goblins in right when the Archer Tower may have targeted the Archer Queen. Instead, she, the, the Archer Tower turned shot the two goblins down by that time the archer queen was on top of the archer tower and she took out the archer tower and took minimal damage and that could have been the difference between a 95 percent or a three star so make sure you you yeah you have to make sure you have a couple cleanup troops as well i know it's a fast paced type thing um but that was the objectives for a three-star attack we have a third video coming up it's it's about prioritizing your objectives and how to kind of sort through all the information for the last two videos and make it all work for you hopefully we're going to be able to slow it down a little bit we've only got 15 or 20 minutes to keep everyone's attention so for everyone that's still with me i do appreciate that i enjoy making the videos i hope you enjoy watching them until next time it's been easy stay tuned for the for the third video it, it's going to be coming out tomorrow evening sometime 24 hours from today so stay tuned for that take care everybody